Hello again, episode, installment, whatever, number two this time. Uh, same night, same place, five minutes later. Um, we've been having some exporting issues on this thing. Uh, uh, keep in mind, too, when we do have these little sessions and these little things, the reviews and the stuff that's happening is probably going to get goofier as the night goes on. So, that's just bound to happen. That's another fun uh, side effect of drinking good beers. Um, okay, as I said, uh, another Trappist beer this time. This is one of the uh, harder to find. This is actually, technically speaking, the smallest uh, of the, the Trappist breweries in Belgium. They brew 4,500 hectoliters a year of, of ale. Um, they make three different types, and this is Trappist Ackel Blonde. It's the, actually, well, they make five different types, two of which are only available at the Abbey, so they don't count in this situation. Um, but the, this is the blonde. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice sort of, uh, opaque, would you say? Sort of like a, uh, a nice creamy color. Just a nice, um... Caramel. Yeah, caramel sort of color. Not dark like the last one, not the really, uh, uh, darker looking ales. Which, that, I know that that scares some people. Looking at a beer and seeing it that dark, because they're not used to it. Don't let that scare you. Just doesn't mean it's Guinness. It doesn't mean it's Guinness. <laughs> and and I can tell you right now, that beer that we just had tasted absolutely positively nothing like a Guinness. Nothing like a, a any sort of beer that you would think of probably that that looks black like that. So just just kind of try to distance yourself from that that sort of way of thinking. It's because it's detrimental to further exploration, really. Um, Anyway, same old Chimay Chalice, uh, another nice Trappist beer. Uh, Is there a particular reason the head's not not so so uh, well out there? It it depends on the the type of beer and the particular brewery. Some some beers just retain their head great, and some not so well. I um, on this beer, I poured it with a really nice frothy head, which is uh, another way. At, at, on top of serving the beer a little bit warmer than normal, another way to get a lot of flavor out is to serve it with a, a nice dose of the um, the carbonated head there. Uh, and that's just because it allows the, basically, uh, people who know wine know about decanting wine and about letting the wine breathe, so to speak. That's what you do in the beer. You pour it into a chalice, get the, the foam on the head of way up, it lets the air breathe, or it lets... The, the air breathe. It lets the beer breathe, it oxidizes it, and lets it get its full aroma out. So much better than drinking out of a bottle or, or another type of glass even. So, uh, like I said, Trappist Ackel, smallest Trappist in Belgium, let's give it a shot. Intense, that's an intense look. It is. That's good. Um, it is... I have actually never had... This is my first time trying the, the Blonde, as well as it was my first time trying the Travis Roche for 10. Uh, I definitely like that beer. I had... I'll be doing further reviews on this. Last night I had the Extra uh, Ackle and the, and the Brune Ackle, which are two of the other ones available. I have one more Brune left, so I'll be doing that soon here. Um, I think this might be my least favorite of the three, but it's still very good, and it's got very interesting characteristics. Um, it's got an almost, I don't know what the word is, but it's, uh, there's another Belgian beer, not that this probably <laughs> it means anything to most, but it, it's another, there's another Belgian Trappist called Orval, which it has char slight characteristics of that. Uh, Orval is a very, very interesting beer, and I will be definitely reviewing that on here in the near future. It is... We're not talking about Orval right now. Okay. We're not doing that. No. What we're talking we're rating. about. Rating. Okay. You took a taste. Tell me what you think. Go ahead. Uh, I think it's it's really good. Of course, like I said before, I don't have a sophisticated rating system like your own. That's <laughs> fair. We're not but, all as uh, sophisticated as me. But, uh, you know, once again, this is this is another one I'd strongly recommend. It's, it's a different style. It's obviously a different style in the Abbey Ale, but... It's, it's a little lighter uh, mm -hmm. as far as alcohol yeah. percentage, as far as body even goes, than the Roche for 10, which is to be expected. It's 8% it's alcohol. Um, so it's a little lighter, a little easier drinking. Still a very, very nice ale. Uh, I, once again, will post the breakdown of it. I give it a... Uh, it, it's on the border for me. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a B plus, although it's real close to an A-. minus. It's, it's right in between there. It's, it's about... 
if I had to give a, a letter or a number grade rather, about a about an eighty eight to a ninety one, somewhere in that area. Yeah, see, that's that's the thing. You get more precise with percentages. What are you doing with your? You get the sophisticated system, and you know it's well, all. Well, we'll we'll see. You're gonna be tasting so many beers. So many people the same. See, we'll devise something here. <laughs> now, did you hear about the Belgian beer fest in Boston? I did. It's run by Beer Advocate. Yeah, I saw. Yes. Uh, Anybody out there who, I know there's tons of you beer advocates, I, I, I'm a subscriber, I don't uh, post much, just because I think what needs to be said is almost already said everywhere on, on most of the beers. If I found a beer that I really felt like, you know, I could uh, uh, give something to, then I would, but uh, you guys are great, uh, I go to you all the time, and I don't think I've been steered the wrong way once. Uh, I have been. On what? You have been too. Have I? Did I just... Well, yeah. I want to try another bottle, though. I think we may have had we a... We may have had a... Second... Chicken, Joe and Road, Dutch, Dutch, and Make that a recurring theme throughout the show. I think that was the first day that we can. Oh, that, there was no well, we had to. He screwed up, and no, we had no audio. No audio. So I had to do all that again. Anyways, <laughs> uh, Trapasocle, Blonde, 8... Uh, 88 to 91%, a B plus, final. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> final answer, Regis. All right, signing off then. No, 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 What no. kind of a, just real quick, what kind of a rating? My rating? Uh, around the same. I may say, uh, it's, it's hard when you haven't rated a bunch of beers to just go into rating them. Yeah, it is, uh, it is. But you have to compare it with what you know. Right. Well, from, and what you've had. From what I've had, I'd say, here's the question. It does the rating system include price in the in the? It, it's purely taste. Ooh, that is really we're not we're not factoring in price in any way. It's purely taste, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we might mention that it's a good bargain, right? But it's oh, uh, completely aside from the rate. Price right? for this, uh, I'll tell you where I found this. I found this. I, I live. We both live in Northern Virginia. Um, I found this at a Whole Foods in Vienna, Virginia. Uh, the price was, I believe, five forty nine or five ninety nine. Was one of the two, um, so uh, it, yeah, pricey but but reasonable for the for the style. I really had no qualms about uh, paying that much just because that's so exciting when I saw Aqua. It's it's very rare in this area. Uh, I had to drive to DC to Washington DC last night, thirty five miles away, to uh, which for some people out there is probably nothing to go buy good beer. They probably have to go to another state and stuff. But uh, for us, that's I mean, getting to DC from here. Anybody that knows this is. Getting off on a weird pain thing, in the but, ass, isn't it anyway? Pain in the ass. But uh, so yeah, I, I actually drove up there to get some some of these beers, and they're they're very good. Uh, uh, yeah, B plus for the aqua plus. All right, so B plus. sounds good. Next one, uh, we'll be back in about ten. Yeah, see you soon.